I'm going to start 24 hour Whole Foods. Just part of my, I'm putting on my reminders. And, and always when you're in that, like go full transparent. Yes, yeah, so because transparent. You that have was to. The, really the word in exposure is being transparent, always just transparent. Because we can't really relate on that spiritual connection plane with me holding back, right? Mm -hmm. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. and, and then be confident, have esteem, know that you're important, and really be proud of that. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're leaving the blueprint to where like that one guy is like, what happens if we forget? Well, the day I forget, I see you doing it, you remind me. Mm -hmm. You follow? Mm -hmm. So this is why it has to be, it wasn't just me waking people up, it's then we do it together because I'm gonna have my good days and bad days and then I need you to remind me, mm -hmm. right? Because you now give me permission to keep on going, vice versa. Right, awesome. Sweet, thank you so much. Thank you. Love you, bro. How you, doing? you too. You good? So, Martino, room with Roger in Life University. So I knew these two guys the longest. You know? Yeah. Forever. Dave looks so different with his, his hair <laughs> fell <know>. here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Tone. All right, I'm gonna get some eat, get some, get some fuel. I ran out of plates. Oh my God. I ran out of plates, so I get a couple balls right here. I appreciate everything you've done, man, and you That's continue so to do, else. and all the shit you take. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Chintempo is a big mentor, and we talk about it. Like, at any day, he could say, you know what, guys, everybody figure the shit out your own. I'm retiring. But he doesn't. He doesn't, and that just shows the true heart of what you I'm have. Never retire. Never, dude. It's, it's, a, it's a false word. It's never been done. So we just, I just appreciate everything you do. based on hierarchy. Yeah. Like even even their accomplishments. And, and that's almost like what you got into. It's right, yeah. I got the car, I got this, I have a thousand a week. I, you can't get any higher. And you can only get so successful with hierarchical. And then you come back and realize your, your full potential yeah. is realized. Yeah. It's much, what you just realized, right. it's much higher that you're not normal, right? The chiropractic to me isn't normal. So we, we get in the trap because of coaches, because yeah. of, the bastardization or even self-improvement meaning that self-improvement yeah. means that Warren you need this to be better it's like no you, you already got it you got it exactly yeah I, I picked up exactly what you were saying but I'm thinking for the unenlightened masses how do they translate that or, or what is the incremental influence you know, strategy well, what I think is it's first being aware that there's a secret identity going on that you're, you're covering up your greatness and then shrinking right, is right. not going to help anybody. Right. And they realize like it's all the stuff from society, religion, all this other stuff that you're wearing someone else's values. So first be aware of that. Right, and, they, wearing a mask. Yeah. and they know, yeah, that's the way I felt and I want to be expressive, but I've been told for so long not to show my feelings, not to speak up. Uh, they, they've been, they literally been told they can't that's be really the kids. Right. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for that conversation. Yeah, and I thank you. I really, listened to what you were saying, and I'm like, because I know that's a very special room to you guys, and I know they invested a lot in order to make sure that it was worth everything to them. And yeah, I'm so excited. Trans Transforms the lives of everyone. Absolutely, dude. Love it.
You saw Mr. Pareto? That's Hi, Titus okay. FaceTime. Love you, Titus. I'll Love see you tomorrow. You. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Oh, no, you hang up on me first. I'm not, I'll never hang up on you. I'll hang up on you. <laughs> no. And, I, and now you hang up because Daddy will never hang up on you. But you need to learn to let go of Daddy. So just hang up. I'm going to sit here all night long. It's okay, buddy. You can do it. Love you. You did it. <laughs> so on the phone, like, I refuse to hang up on my kids ever because of two reasons. And, it's, and, and it's, I'm training them. Is that A... I'll never, I'll never give up on them, period. So I'll never hang up on them. But I want them to hang up on me because there's gonna come a time as they mature that they gotta let go of daddy. Like, that they gotta be able to say, I, I, you know, I'm the dad now, I'm the man now, and let, let me go. Because I know, like, when my dad passed, I was so holding on to that, that I didn't have the option to let him go. I had to do it without him here. It was weird, like, he let, and so I think with the kids, I'm training them now, even at four, no, like, let daddy go, it's okay, because I need them to be okay with that. And even if it's on the phone, it's gonna, it's gonna happen in real life. That they can move, they wanna move and travel the world, because I wouldn't, because I wanted to be near dad, right? So, knowing that I'm here, I'll never hang up on you, but you gotta be willing to let go of me. And I think that's something I wanna instill in both of them now, so they can be their own men, even at four. did that Q&A on stage with Whitney and I. And then you just, and then I, I would the whole time I was looking for the outlet to like go towards yeah, the hero stuff. Because yeah. they want it, thank God. And I loved that whole setup. I was like, ooh, the mic, that came out. So then when we went in that room, they gave me an hour. So we, we nailed the recipe. An hour, 20 to 25 minute keynote. That's enough for them to remember, get it. Open up to Q&A and then we literally, then the Q&A is about talking about whatever we talked in the keynote and specifically talking to them and connecting on a whole new level. And they all shifted, like, you know, because this one lady, she's like her mom would, she had a sign that said, you can do everything if you try. It was on her door in college and her mom would go by and be like, no, you can't. And this is, she's in her 60s. And she's talking about that moment when she was a teenager. And see how that she, and her whole life, she went by that, that voice, no, you can't. Because her mom was just expressing limited beliefs that she had passed on to her. And at 60, she's still in pain and anguish of not, of that was, that one essence held her back. And so we're here to unlock that in a very non-traditional way, even non, and it's not your typical personal development either. It's not an affirmation. It's not a, you know, learn this seven step, write down your goals. Cause it's like, you can't write down your goals because it's like, if I, if I'm set on a goal, I get it, but an opportunity might present itself that if I'm romantic on the goal, I'll miss out on the best opportunity. So we, uh, we rock this weekend as we planned, and now next weekend is Nashville. So we're gonna wake up really early, five, we gotta, we're gonna leave at 5.30, get back to Houston, get back on a routine, and get ready for Nashville. We leave Thursday. So Saturday night. So next up, Nashville, and all the great stuff that happens. Always. Oh,